guys and welcome back. So today I'm bringing you the third part of my Best in Beauty series of 2013 and today I'm going to be talking all about lips. So let's get on to it. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you is a lip balm and I have two. One is a drugstore and one is a Heinz. So for the drugstore I picked the regular original Carmex in a tube. I just find that this is very moisturizing. It doesn't, you know how sometimes when you apply a lip balm on your lips it makes you feel good but the second that it wears off all the dryness and all the splotchiness comes back it doesn't happen with this one and it's super cheap so hey why not for a more higher end kind of treat you know I'm loving my Dior Creme de Rose this is my holy grail I will not go to sleep without applying it on my lips I sometimes pamper myself and apply it in the morning before I apply makeup instead of my Carmex just because I love it so much although I'm trying kind of you know not to use it up as quickly because it's kind of expensive so there you go those are my two favorite um as for tinted lip balms I don't really buy tinted lip balms because I kind of feel that it's a waste of my money if I want a color I want a lip gloss or a lipstick if I want moist a moisturizer product I'll buy a balm but I have something that kind of qualifies for a tinted lip balm and this is Revlon's lip butter specifically in number 027 juicy papaya which is an amazing summery coral shade yes you can see in camera this is great like this leaves your lips feeling moisturized and just awesome it plumps them it gives a little bit of shine a little bit of color it's just a great all-arounder and it's a drugstore so it's super cheap and super nice and it lasts for a long 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 time so that's great um, for lip liners I could not decide so I have three for my day-to-day -day uses I have my favorite nude as of late and this is Dior's 169 Grage which has been talked about to death here on YouTube so I won't continue talking about it I'll just say that it's a pinkish nude that really goes well with my lip shade color I don't know how it's called the natural one meaning that I can wear it with any kind of a neutral lip and it won't interfere with the shade of the product that I'm applying on top it will just define the contour of my lip and help the product stay in place and not bleed which I find to be great um, the next one is max plum and this is the type of shade that looks really weird um, when you swatch it but it actually goes with almost any shade it's kind of it's a mauve shade and it has a little bit of brown in it meaning that you can apply it all over and then apply even the nudest shade on top of it and it would just they will just complement each other you can also apply it with um, darker shades brighter shades whatever shades you like this is a great all-arounder like if you want to buy just one lip pencil from MAC or one lip pencil at all I'd say go for the plum because it will serve you for a long time for many many looks and as we all know I've been loving my red bold lip and for that I've been absolutely in love with my MAC cherry I also own I own quite a lot of red um, lip liners because I have a lot of red lipsticks and I like to mix and match them uh, but I find that the cherry one suits the best kind of um, I just think that it goes really well with my yellow um, undertones of my uh, skin so yeah I just find that it goes really well okay uh, jumbo lip pencil I don't really like those it's not for me as I said I prefer a regular lipstick or lip gloss but there is just one that I've been particularly loving all this year and this is by Clinique a chubby stick in 12 oversized orange it kind of resembles a little bit the juicy papaya that I showed you but it's it, it's a little bit different the formulation is different and the shade it has little uh, particles that kind of reflect the light and it's really convenient like I understand why so many people love it this concept of 
a pencil that you can apply on your lips but um, yeah I so far this is the only one that I found that I like and I have really been using it all year round so that's a great one as for lip stain, I'm staying loyal to my YSL Glossy Stains. Um, this is the red shade, it's shade 11, but I have several others and I plan to get some more. I just feel that you can't lose with this one. You apply a coat of this, let it sit, let it dry, apply another one and you can just go out the door, you'll have the shade, it stains your lips, it won't go anywhere, it will stay glossy all evening and it just looks amazing. Seriously, this is one of the best products that I have ever tried and I know that there are a lot of um, drugstore dupes for this but none of which that I tried has really had the staying power as this one does. And for me, I like to pay money for something that I can apply once or twice an evening and that's it and not be constantly worried about reapplying it every 5 minutes. So I rather pay the money and get the real deal. As for favorite lipstick, and this was a really hard one because I had to choose, I, I, I kind of feel that I had to choose the lipstick that if I couldn't have any other, which one I'd still have, and I chose number 13 Ballet Pink by Bobbi Brown. I just feel that when all hell <laughs> breaks loose and I have no idea what I want to apply on my lips, I know that this is a safe choice. It looks great with almost any look that I can pull up. It's very creamy, it feels really good. I know that I don't have to worry about pairing it up like some lipsticks I really love but I know that I need to pair them with a lip pencil or with a gloss or with another shade of lipstick. This one it's just an all-rounder good by its own. It's a standalone great product so I felt that I really need to give it the honor and enter this into my beauty favorites. Lip glosses. Okay, so I chose two because I use lip glosses either on their own or as a topping to my lip combo. So as a topping, the best topping, I chose Buxom's White Russian. I know I didn't have it for a long time, but I've been using it non-stop. I just pull it out of my purse. And if it lives in my purse, you know that it's something that I use daily and I really love. Um, besides, it's very minty, which and tingly which I really love but if you are not a fan of minty and tingly stay clear out of this because it continues being minty and tingly even two hours after you applied it so beware as for a standalone lip gloss I had to choose my Chanel most worn one in number 119 um, I have no idea how it's called but it's the 119 it looks like this it's just a mauve pink with multicolored shimmer and it looks amazing. Of course you can top a lip combo with this one, but I feel that it kind of ruins both the lip combo and the lip gloss. I really rather applying this on its own and I pulled this one out of my handbag as well. So you already know what that means. Um, <laughs> okay guys, so this is everything about lips and I have prepared my picks according to color because like I said, I could choose only one lipstick but I have been loving a lot of them. So I divided my all time, not all time, my 2013 favorite shades into nudes, pinks, um, berries and brights which is red or violet or whatever and I wanted to share them with you so so as for my nudes I chose two from the drugstore they're both from Maybelline the Whisper collection and the first one is 620 bear to be bald which is just a very 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 nude shade which I love to apply on top of other colors to lighten them up a little bit. I find that this formulation is great, it's moisturizing but it's not too slippery and it just makes you feel, your lips feel nice and moisturized and it adds up to whatever color that you have on. And the second shade from the same range would be Lust for Blush which is just the perfect nude um, that I've ever stumbled upon in the drugstore. 
Um, next one is my Chanel number 38 Superstition. You know I love this nude. I'm wear I've been wearing it a lot, by the way. This paired with this Glossomer is a great combo. If you feel the need to pair them up, to pair this one to a lipstick, then this might be the one. One of my re most recent purchases is the Chanel Rouge Allure in number 88 Evanescence. Evanescence? Evanescent. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is just a pinky nude and it looks amazing on anyone. I've applied it on me, I've applied it on my family and friends and it looks great. Another shade that just like the Whisper I like to apply on top of others is Max Flare for Finery. I learned about it from Jacqueline here, Hill here on YouTube and this one pairs up amazingly with the number 88 that I just showed you. They're both kind of pinky toned, this one is a lot lighter and together they create the most gorgeous, gorgeous nude lip. So if you've never tried it before, I urge you to get those two because they are amazing. As for pinky toned ones, I have two MAC lipsticks and all, all in all I have a lot of MAC lipsticks here because these are my favorite lipsticks to wear. Um, the first one is Viva Glam 5, which you all know, it's a great pinky nude, I find that it suits almost anyone. And second one is Angel. I wanted to buy this one for a long time, I didn't know if you wanted Angel or Cream Cup and I finally broke down and decided that I want Angel and this is my favorite, favorite pink of all times ever, I think. Um, it looks really good with a lot of other shades, you can pair it with Max Plum, this one, this is one of those shades that look amazing with Max Plum and yeah, this is just a great shade. Um, as for berry shades, I have one by MAC and this is Syrup. This is a perfect bridal shade whenever I do a bride's makeup or whenever I want to look gorgeous and delicate like a bride, I just apply this one. And the second one is, well, I've been rambling about it a lot in my past videos. This is a Revlon Lip Butter in 085 Sugar Plum. It's a mauvey, plummy, purple gorgeousness in a tube. If you could buy just one of these, I would say go for the sugar plum because just like syrup, it looks good on everyone. Okay, final category is more red and dark toned lips and I have two by MAC and one by Chanel. By MAC I have Ladybug, which is a red, but it's a very sheer red, like you, it's it's a day-to-day -day red. Here, you can see it right here. You see, it's very sheer, you can build it up if you want to, but you can leave it very sheer and very flattering. I find that it's somewhere between a tinted lip balm and a lipstick, and I find that with red, sometimes this is the best way to go. Another MAC shade is Rebel, which is what I have on my lips right now, paired with this Rihanna collection, Who's That Chick? So this is the combo that I have on right now. This is a very known shade, it's very in your face, purpley, pinky tone and I find that it's perfect for the colder months. And the final shade that I wanted to share with you is a recent purchase and it's by Chanel, it's Rouge Allure Velvet in number 40, Le Sensuel. And this is actually a recommendation I took from Rachel from Makeup Never Sleeps. She, she has an exquisite taste in makeup and she was showing her um, lipstick collection. She was talking about reds and she said that if she could recommend just one red for us to buy, she would recommend this one. So obviously I went to the store and checked this out and she's right. This is a velvet so it's a lot more matte than what we're used to. It's kind of a wineish red color but it's very easy to wear, it's very creamy and opaque, you can see it right here. See it's a lot more berry toned or reddish than the Rebel one but it's a lot less orange warm tone than the ladybug so this is 
I won't say that it's the perfect red because the perfect red is very individual, but I think that this is one of my all-time favorite reds. So yeah, guys, this is it. Um, I have just finished all the conventional categories and next video is gonna be Best in Beauty and Miscellaneous, which will conclude everything that kind of didn't fit into any other category, meaning skincare, nail care, brushes, all that good jazz, even a perfume. So keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll see you soon. Bye!